Parliament, where the National Council of Sports, NCS, has highlighted inadequate budget releases as being a major impediment to the smooth implementation of planned sports activities. This follows a report to MPs showing that the Council has not released or received 10.2 billion shillings in the last two quarters. In the first quarter, 43% of the planned 18 billion shillings was released. The management team, led by the Minister of State for Sports, Peter Oguang, are appearing before the ad hoc committee inquiring into the concerns of the failure to fund some of the sports federations. I just have a few follow-up. What qualifies a federation for money? What are, how do you qualify a federation to get government money? What are the procedures? In your challenges, you mentioned about um, limited technical capacity. But you also spend a lot of money on salaries. Are you telling us you are employing people that are not qualified to do the job? Because if all these millions or billions of money are going to staff and they are technically incapacitated, then why are you paying them? So I would like to know, first of all, how do you, and members have alluded to it, how do you recruit the members of staff? But also, who are these members of staff? If we can have a list of the positions of the staff and how they are recruited. Because it's, it's very unfortunate that, uh, and, and when the Honorable Minister was beginning, he said, we want to request this committee to give us more money. But how can we give more money when we don't even have the capacity to handle the money? Because when we say limited technical capacity, it means you don't have the capacity to handle the money, the federations. Um, person and honorable colleagues for the submissions of the questions we have received. First of all, there are a few issues which I'm going to make clarification as a minister responsible for education and sports and sports specifically. The first one is a mismatch between the father and the grandfather and the children. I am the minister. So before anyone here, I am the person with the final say. So when I see a child beginning to contradict the father, I have to bring the child to order. And that's what I did here because I saw my child was beginning to mislead and to go beyond his notice mandate. So I had to remind him that, by the way, I am here. So don't begin to accept my powers when I'm still alive. So I did it in good faith, and that was in affirmative. Number two, the issues of Uganda Netball Federation. I want to inform Madam Chair, I am managing the situation because I have carried out an extensive investigation on the matter. I found it there, and I'm about to conclude on it. Actually, tomorrow, to go on record, um, is it confirmed? I have a meeting with the netballers, the players. Because in all this confusion, my main, my main aim is the athlete. I do not want an athlete to miss We big people, we call ourselves big. Are we facilitating those people to achieve the sport? Like the Honorable E.B. said, sports about now money. As a country, we have three professional players now. All of them are in England. I want many to go to the rest of the country to get us more money. So when I see this confusion, is it Madam President, is it the board? Yeah, that's within their constitution. But at the end of the day, obviously, you've asked pertinent questions. What is the role of the federation? Are you getting me? Which I want us to confess. Some of us have not been doing our work. And we must be open here. Because if we don't, then we're not going to help the situation. But in all this, honorable colleagues, this new sports bill is going to solve the problem. Part of the problem has also been the law. But now, it is here. 
You look at this bill, and I want to impress all of you to go and get to read it. You, uh, copies have been given. It's going to address the problem. Another issue you ask, have you ever married to this, this federation? When I came into the ministry, I started with visiting them. They are 51 to the record. How many have I visited so far? I think about 10, 15. But I also have my own report, which I'm going to submit the top management of the Ministry of Education, my own observations at the time I've spent while visiting some of these federations. Do they qualify to get money or not? These are the issues which I'm undertaking. And at the end of the day, my powers I have given you to the chairman. 